just seen your father. Oh, yeah. Two new fathers. One the one. That's great. <laughs> I think some, uh, most people know that there is a, a risk and a danger that has increased since the 11th of September. Uh, they also know that if they're going to maintain their influence with the United States of America, then they've got to be able to work with the United States. Uh, and they also know they've got an obligation to protect their people. So the pressure is on, uh, but not all countries have yet responded to that which is why the example of France, the United Kingdom, Portugal, and Norway is so important in making it clear that we have to have the capabilities to deal with the threats of tomorrow and not simply the enemies of the past. Uh, this is not yet in NATO's uh, court. Clearly, we are interested in what is happening in terms of the resolution. But this matter is in the hands of the United Nations, and uh, when the United Nations has made a final decision, then NATO will take it into account and will await uh, the representations of any government to see what they might want us to do about any UN decision.